Hey everybody, happy homebrew Wednesday. It's Brad here at uh, Wild Boys Brewery Cook NC channel. I uh, hope everybody's having a good one. It's uh, crappy and rainy here in uh, Farmington, North Carolina, so it's a good day to stay inside and drink beer. I don't really have much going on with the homebrew. I'm going to be transferring the uh, ESB Thames Valley uh, yeast experiment, Hokey Homebrew yeast experiment beer over into the carboy here. I uh, probably might do it tomorrow for the next day. I've got a bottle, one of my stouts, so for a carboy up to put it into. Um, I'll film that and probably just use that footage for next week's Homebrew Wednesday. I did a beer run. Uh, this is what I picked up on my beer run today. I picked up a four pack of Founders Double Trouble. Uh, watched the uh, Beer Geek Nation review on that and they were just going crazy about how good it was. So I went ahead and picked up a four pack of that. And I also got something new from Clown Shoes. It is a Russian Imperial Stout. It's the first time I've seen it. It's called Blakehorn Unidragon. Pretty funky. It's got a dra black dragon on it with a horn on it. Uh, they got the coolest artwork. And then another video I had shot the beer mill I was sending over to Stefan at uh, Hat Trick 364. There was a couple other clown shoes. Let you see some of the other artwork they did. They've got the uh, eagle claw fist. It's got the monk with the clown shoes on it. And then they've got the hoppy feet. This is the 1.5 version. It's got the dude kicked back in the on the porch with his feet up on the rails and he's got the big clown shoes on it. And all these, I've had those two back there, but I haven't had this one because it's the first time I've seen it. And I'm looking forward to trying it. And if it's good, then I'll get another bottle and put it up. It's, uh, it's a bit of a beast. It is 12.5%. So it should be, let's get it back up here on the right bottle. I'm looking at the bottle, not the camera. Sorry about that. Anyway, here's the artwork on this. Their artwork is cool. But uh, that's what I picked up on my beer run today. Um, Go check these out. Uh, the home brews that, and other beers that I've got in my beer mail are still look like they're fizzy, so I'm going to wait until tomorrow to try those. And uh, I'm going to have one of these uh, double troubles I stuck in the freezer. For 20 minutes and it's been in the refrigerator now for about an hour uh, as well so it should be getting ready to get a pour on it and then I'll uh, let you know what I think about it. I'm really looking forward to it. I've already watched a couple reviews on it and it just sounds like it's totally kick ass. So let me get my glass out and open this bottle up and we'll check it out. 86 IBUs, 9.4% so this is a big beer. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. Pop the top on it. It was warm. I uh, put it in the freezer for 20 minutes and that's been in the uh, refrigerator now for almost an hour since then. Uh, I don't think there's no danger of pouring a whole lot of head on with that high ABV, so we'll just get right down the metal with it. And it is screaming bubbles up the top. It's a wonderful, really bright copper color. mangoes. This is probably one of the fruitiest beers I've ever smelled with the hops. Uh, let's get a taste on it. Doesn't taste quite as fruity as it smells, but it's still really good. You can taste all the IBUs, but it's actually really well balanced. Um, check out Beer Geek Nation's beer review on it. He can give you a much more thorough, in-depth review of all the flavors that's come through on it. Uh, I can just tell you, I like it. It's really good. If you can find it, check it out. If you're a hop head, this one's going to knock your socks off. Blow your hair back. Um, you're going to love it if you're a hop head. Cheers. Alright, here we are in the beer room. This is the Hokey Yeast Experiment ESB. It's no longer bubbling, but the 
top of the airlock on the inside is still pushed up. I'll be transferring that over into the secondary very soon. Oh, let's see, this is my Hoppy Yummy, my Foothills Hoppy Yum clone in here. It's got another week to go. Uh, I'm not going to do a secondary on this one. I'm going to do three weeks in the primary and then I'm going to bottle it. Um, this is my first all grain brew. It's still fermenting out. It's been in there about a month. Uh, well, of course, it wasn't in that one. It was in the uh, primary for, I think, 10 days or two weeks, and it's been in this one for about two weeks. Um, it's the American Imper American Imperial Chocolate Coffee Stout. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and bottle this one soon so I can free up this uh, carboy for my uh, Hokey Yeast Experiment ESB. Uh, back here is the Little Baby Beer, a uh, small batch I did with the leftover um, sparge runnings from the uh, ESB. It's a Galena IPA. Uh, it's still, you can see it fermented out really good. I use Cooper's Dry Yeast on it. Or actually, not Cooper's, but Muntins. Uh, the yellow pack with the green letters. It's still got quite a bit of um, foam and crap around the top. It's only been about a little over a week since it was pitched. It's got a serious yeast cake in the bottom of it. Uh, I'm probably going to leave that one in there for about 10 days or so, and then I'll rack it over into uh, the... Got a gallon... What the hell is it? Uh, there it is. The gallon... Um, Growler. There's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this is my, um, back it up here. That's the sweet potato, chocolate sweet potato style. I uh, did a uh, taste of the gravity sample on it when I transferred it over into the carboy. And so far, I was a little bit disappointed. It seemed like most of the taste of the sweet potato has fermented out and it was only in the primary for about two weeks when I tasted it there should have been a lot of sweet potato left in there apparently sweet potato is kinda like peaches all the flavor is in the sugars and when the yeast eat them it ferments out makes the alcohol you lose your flavor so I had uh, some medium toast French oak chips soaking in Captain Morgan silver rum and I toss those in there and it's frothed the head up. It's been in there for about, um, I think about two weeks now. And i am lost a lot of my volume. I've only got about four gallons in there from the seven pounds of sweet potato that was in the primary. And what I'm thinking about doing is just doing a cold coffee infusion on this one. Uh, a lot of people have been doing that with their dark beers here lately. I actually did it last year with a blackberry a chocolate blackberry stout and it was uh, really nice and I'm thinking about just putting an extra gallon of water in it um, it's a pretty high ABV it's like 7% so I may just tone it down to something a little more drinkable um, just kind of do like maybe a session stout um, and it'll have sweet potatoes uh, most of that flavor is about going out of it anyway so just providing some um, sugars to uh, make the alcohol from that instead of dextrose or um, just regular sugar or something like that uh, so it'll give it a little more flavor um, a little more complexity you can kind of tell it's still in there and then do the cold coffee infusion on it I may add some more rum to it uh, it's got the oak chips in it already I'm probably gonna go ahead and oak this one for about a month uh, that's what I got going on for Homebrew Wednesday. Hope everybody's having a good one. Um, as SJ Poor says, enjoy the fruits of your labor. Brew beer. Drink beer.